Hey guys, this is my top 10 best anime of 2016. Now this is a list of what I've watched in 2016 and to make it easier on myself I only chose anime that came out this year. One other note, I'm not including series that I have not finished. Now, this is my personal list, so if it does not include your favourite anime, please comment in the section down below. Now, this list is in no particular order, so let's begin. First off, I'm a Amato Inazuma is one of those anime where it's a single parent trying to raise a kid while working and not being able to cook and make lunch for the child. Now what sets this apart from every other anime that uses a single parent as the main character is pretty much what Kofuku Graffiti did last year or the year before, which is safe for work, food porn. Now, the food that was prepared in a family-run restaurant, being taught by one of Inazuma's students, cooking the food for the main character, his kid, and everyone else that was there looked extremely delicious and most likely not very hard to make. I guess Shogeki no Soma has another anime that was inspired by it. Next up, those who have seen the series Barakamon will know who Honda Say is. Now, Honda Kun is a series that acts as sort of like a prequel to Barakaman by a few years during his time at high school being popular or as he sees it through his eyes unpopular from all the students. Now since this was a summer season anime it came out at the right time and it did its job by keeping you entertained throughout and kept me coming back to see what would happen next which is something a slice of life comedy anime should do but seeing as I've seen Barakamon I already knew who Hunter was to begin with Now, the Gashi Kashi is probably one of those series that should not have come out when it did, which was during the winter season. But aside from that, the series was packed full of references to Japanese candies and drinks that many would not have seen before. Now, the chemistry between all the characters is quite believable and with the oddball of Hotaru you have a character that you don't know what's going on through her head apart from her trying to be the best in the candy industry as her family runs the largest candy factory store something or other in Japan apparently now much like Shirobako uh, New Game is an anime about a bunch of cute girls who are not in high school developing everything for a series called Fairies story. Now this time it is the 
third game in the series called Fairy Stories 3, of course. Now, the release of the series came out roughly the same time as another anime that focused on gaming, which I'll talk about a little bit later. Now, New Game does show off what developing the software can be like, especially the debugging aspect. Now, that part of the anime, they have gotten extremely accurate. Now, I wonder if the character of the uh, manga got the inspiration from working in the industry or knows people that do. But, who knows. Now, I don't normally get on the hype train for some anime until the series is completely over so I can binge watch it if I wanted to. That said, I still have not gotten around to watching One Punch Man. But this is not about One Punch Man because that came out in 2015. This, on the other hand, is Boku no Hero Academia. Now, I've watched every episode that when it came out, so that is unlike some hyped animes. Now, there was something about Boku no Hero that made me watch the struggle of someone with no powers, training to be as strong, if not stronger than everyone else that has a power of some sort. It almost reminds you of a certain DC hero. <laughs> oh, Batman. Yeah. Almost. We're about halfway through the list, so... Here we have a series that... called Connor Suba. Now, there is an abridged version of Konosuba out that if you've watched that instead of the actual anime, you could be confused that it might be the real thing. Now, I've never seen a series which is on the same level of comedy and mocking itself as the abridged version. Now, Konosuba parodies the fantasy genre with its setting and its character tropes. Now, the main character is killed off in the first episode to be brought before a goddess who gets pulled into the same world due to his wish. Now, everyone in the main group has some kind of weakness, either being they can't really fight, can do a massive explosion and then can't do anything else, look at you, Mega Men, or is a total masochist and loves to sacrifice herself in battle. Now, there is a second season coming out next year, so watch the 10 eps to catch up. Now, there is an OVA, so you can watch that if you want, but I doubt that will have much impact. Now, as mentioned with New Game, Netogay focuses on another side of gaming. <laughs> playing the actual game. However, Nettlegate focuses on MMO gameplay with just character relationships to dungeoning and raids. Now, the real life as part of the anime is basically centered around the creation of a club to help one of their friends Try to distinguish between reality and fiction. Now, 
I'm not going to spoil it, but it's worth a watch, if not cringy at times. But, there's not many too cringy parts to it. Now, ReZero came out at the same time as Boku no Hero Academia. Of course, this was one of the series that did have a huge amount of hype behind it, and people were trying to get me to watch it. However, it's only just been recently I got around to watching it. Uh, it took a couple of days to watch it, but I did watch all 25 eps. There were a few times where I did have to go back a little bit to see what happened to a couple of characters, but Gigak's video of ReZero and 8 minutes was spot on. I felt that if I didn't watch all the eps, I'd still understood the series well enough. Now, seeing as the manga is still ongoing, there should be a season 2. Now, maybe the second season will appear earlier than Shingeki no Kyojin series 2. I might rewatch that one to see what happens. Now the final two, now, although Assassination Classroom second season started back in 2015, I managed to finish it earlier this year. Now it took me longer than expected as I already knew what was going to happen as there were only two outcomes and the way that the second half of season two was going it made it harder to watch, as you didn't want Koro Sensei to die. Now that's no spoiler, as they mentioned it in the first episode of season one, and that was either class kills him or he blows up the world with himself. Now, seeing how popular Assassination Classroom was, there is a new series out called Koro Sensei Quest. Now, this is a short length anime, so maybe it'll be a fun little side story that they're bringing out. Maybe, maybe not. Now, lastly, we have Sakamoto Desuga. Now, this series can be summed up in the Three words. Cooler, ah, uh, cool, cooler, coolest. Now, nothing seems to uh, face Sakamoto even when he is in the face of danger. All the girls love him and all the guys want to be him. There is not much to that I can say about Sakamoto at desk art without spoiling it. So watch it as you will enjoy it as much as what I did.